guys welcome back to my channel today I am going to be doing some Maybelline fit me matte and Paula's mixes I previously made a video showing how I applied these individually to see if I could find a shade match from one of those foundations these are the 335 classic tan 338 spicy brown 340 cappuccino and 355 coconuts and most of you commented and said that the coconut was either an ideal fit or too orange so today I am going to be doing some mixes I'm going to insert a clip here so you can see exactly what it is that I'm mixing some of you suggested that I should try some mixes so for those of you who made that suggestion, this video is primarily for you. Um, but whoever else can benefit from seeing me shade match using this particular brand of foundations, then awesome. So let's just get right into it. I have already primed my cheek. This is an excellent brand of foundation and it is very affordable. This is a drugstore brand. These foundations are approximately six dollars depending on where you buy them and when it's on sale you can get it even cheaper so in terms of economics it's quite affordable um, I just wish I would find a good match though so let's blend this out I try to use equal parts of each shade um, a dropper would have made this more exact in terms of measurement but I think I did a fairly good job of measuring Okay, this is the last of it. <laughs> so again, this is coconut and spicy brown. This was the first suggestion that you made. In terms of shades that I should consider mixing. So... This is a coconut and spicy brown mint. You know what? As a shade reference, I should apply the coconut so you could see. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so I'm going to do the other cheek with just the coconut. Coconut was, at the time, the closest match, but it wasn't perfect because there was still a slightly orange tinge to it. So let me apply it now so you could have it to compare. Coconut 355. Okay, so I'm going to apply directly onto the beauty sponge on the opposite side. And as I said, I've already primed my entire face, so should not be an issue okay you can already see what I was saying about the orange tinge All right. 
I swear this was a better match than it is right now at that time. It's been a couple months. Has it been so long? About a couple months. And my skin has gotten a bit lighter. So look at this. <laughs> this is not going to work. But this is the coconut and at least you have it as a shade reference. Okay, so this is the coconut and this is coconut and spicy brown mixed. Now I'm going to take a couple of photos in the natural light of the day. So I can insert it so you could have a better um, point of reference, a better source to compare. So let me do that now. It has now been about 10 minutes since I've had this on and <laughs> To be honest, the photos don't look much different. Um, they all look the same in, in terms of um, clarity. I'm not sure how well you will be able to see the difference um, in the color shade, in the color matches. In the daylight, it looks almost the same and you will see what I mean when I show you the photos. I try to take it um, at different angles and in different places to get a more realistic view of what this looks like in the natural daylight but nope so i'm not sure how well you'll be able to help me out but yeah I made a little bit of an adjustment to my lighting. I hope this makes a difference. Okay, so let's move on to our second um, two shades. This is coconut and cappuccino. This smells so strong. I don't know how well you can see this, but <laughs> oh, I look like a leprechaun. No, this is not going to work. <laughs> so again, this is coconut and cappuccino mixed equal parts of each. last two guys we are mixing cappuccino and classic tan and cappuccino and spicy brown you see that <laughs> ah, this is so wrong
Okay, I think we can just eliminate this one right away. All right, so this was cappuccino and classic tan. All right, so let's go with cappuccino and spicy brown. my final thoughts are that there doesn't seem to be an ideal shade match for me there doesn't seem to be a perfect shade match um i think the mixing was a very good idea thank you to those of you who made the suggestion but either the shades that i mixed or maybe the amount of each shade that i mixed was not ideal because it's still not working I mean on camera it looks fine but in person trust me it does not work it doesn't my eyes are getting red it means it's time to take this off so um yes this is um, this is a great brand of foundation it is very affordable so um, naturally it would have been great if I could get a shade match in there it means I don't have to break the bank every time I need to get it replaced but um, it didn't work guys it didn't so <laughs> thank you guys for your usual support I appreciate you see you in the next video